Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This first thing in the morning, so my voice is kind of croaky. I have this box here that I was notified via email. My friend Kirk, I'll try to pronounce his name right, Horrider, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Kirk said, hey Matthew, I've got a package on the way to you. And um, he told me he found a couple, like a kid at a yard sale and some, maybe a flea market or something like that. I can't remember exactly what the email said um, without looking at it. But he said um, that he wanted to send me some stuff. And I was like, man, that's so, thank you so much for that. And uh, it showed up. And now this thing's heavy. I mean, I don't, it's, that's got to be, that's, that's got to be almost 20 pounds. It's pretty heavy. It must be heavy because he said, man, exp uh, shipping is expensive. So, um, I want to open this thing up. This is so exciting. I got it. I, I got it yesterday and, uh, it's very, uh, you know, he wants me to open it on camera, which is, which is, which is cool because I know you guys like to see this stuff anyway, but, um, I hadn't seen what's in it. So let's do it. I got the camera back a little bit farther this time, so maybe you guys can see the entire the entire um, thing on in. Can you see it all? Yeah, it's all in there. In in the shot. So this is so cool. It came all the way from uh, Spokane. I've been to Spokane, Washington before. My wife's aunt lives there, and we drove out and uh, went to Spokane, to Idaho, Montana, Colorado, Wyoming, everywhere. So let's see what's in this box. This is so darn cool. Okay. You can read this on camera if you want. I'll give my best shot, Kirk. If it's in cursive, we're going to have problems. Okay. Hi, Matt. Wanted to get this out to you. Uh... So just a quick note, I wanted to let you know that you're, you're a great inspiration and I've been watching since the first video where you looked so lonely and wanted a model building friend. And now look at you. I really like your channel. Blue Ox, Lucasy, e, and Mountain Dew Models. I forgot to put a model mag I forgot to put a model magazine I wanted you to see in here. I'll send it later with my story. Thanks, Kirk. Pronounce Herida. Herida. Okay. That's how you pronounce this. Uh, yes, uh, har yeah, I didn't pronounce it right, so it's Herod or not harder. P.S. You know me as, oh, that's right, Kirkster stuff. I totally forgot about that. I have a channel, but haven't posted uh, for four to five years. Thanks for starting up again, or thanks for uh, thinking of starting up again. Well, you should. You should, Kirkster stuff. I've seen his comments so many times. Thank you, Kirk. It's like, so you get these guys that they have a channel or they have a YouTube name and you don't necessarily recognize that's who the actual person is. But anyway, cool, Kurt. Thank you so much for that. And I don't, I honestly don't know how I'm an inspiration to anybody because most of the time I just don't even know what I'm doing. Um, kind of fumbling my way through this stuff. And uh, thank you though for that super encouraging word there all right so very well packed you done a great job packing this looks like i have there's enough reading material here for for my <laughs> oh boy i already see something he already knew what i like check this out I have to get this kirk you spent twenty dollars on shipping uh newspapers here's the auto clipper Where's this from? Spokane. Got a cool looking uh, Camaro there on the front. So check this out. How do you ever know? Whoa! Look at that. Before, man, this thing looks pristine. Like brand new. 48 Ford convertible. I'm going to build another one of these. You got, you've inspired me, Kurt. I got to build another one. The only drawback with this kit is if you'll now these are beautiful models when they're built up right they are really are beautiful but you see the see the chrome it's just a sticker it's just a piece of chrome 
tape basically that they give you. It doesn't look good to me. So what you have to do is you have to put a styrene um, bead of styrene on there so there um, so then you have and then you chrome that that way you actually have a you see that it's just like I said it's just a chrome sticker so you, what you have to do is you have to lay a piece of styrene bead or, or half round or something I actually used round which was a huge mistake because I had to sand the mess out of it but you lay it down just like I did on mine and uh, you do it here too and then you have an actual chrome um, something that you can actually bare metal foil but man these are beautiful model kits thank you so much Kirk for sending that I probably wouldn't care at all for these model kits but again my dad built one you know what anyway I'm, I'm, I thought there's 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 two different testers box arts and uh I'm not even sure if I have this one. Maybe this is, I can't tell. 105. Yeah, probably same thing. Anyway, cool kit. My dad built this and that's it's just like, if I had a thousand of them, I would still want to get more. It's so cool. Thank you for that. And uh, just to top that off, look at this. <laughs> There's two of them. Man, these are too cool. These are too cool. Thanks for thinking of me. I really, really appreciate that. These kits are from 1983. Yeah, man, what a beautiful model kit these are build up to be. You have to do you have to do some uh, customizing to make it look right. Like I said, with the chrome and all those things. But when you do, man, they got opening doors. Um, yeah, the seats will they'll let up in the front, and uh, seems that my camera's a little bright. But anyway, very cool. Two of these kits, so, so neat. Thank you so much. And then check this out. A courier. So I've mentioned, it's got the plastic on it, man. That's awesome. I don't have this kit. It's called a minivan. Why would they even call it a minivan? Other than the body is uh, kind of made into the into the uh, the camper. My granddad, um, actually I live here at the house that my granddad and my grandma um, lived at my entire life he had Ford Couriers when I was coming up he loved them he loved Ford, Ford Couriers and the Mazda was exactly the same truck as far as I know it was a Mazda is that actually was a Mazda truck that Ford um, used uh, you know I don't know how that worked I don't know if Ford owned them at the time or what but anyway it was a Mazda I'm pretty sure it was a Mazda pickup truck badged under Ford um, and they were such neat trucks. I just remember riding around with my granddad, and, uh, and 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 it was just so much fun. And I'd love to have a real Ford Courier or a Datsun. My dad had a Datsun about this same year, you know, Datsun. Or I'd like to have a Chevy Love. Any of these trucks would be so cool. These little mini trucks to have, but they're very expensive now. They do not give these away. And this thing. Oh. Oh, I knew it was heavy. I knew I didn't see any more model kits, but I knew there was it was heavy. There's some other stuff in here. Oh, cool! <laughs> Look at this, an old VW uh, book. What year is this thing? Peterson's complete Volkswagen. And then there's another one. Man, these are old. Number two. Let me see if I can find a date on this. Peterson Publishing Company. It's probably right under that, that sticker right there. How cool, man. No way. That is too cool. Wow. And this is one of those really in-depth, um, really in-depth books. This, look here, here's the automatic stick shift if you guys didn't know Volkswagen here's a Volkswagen tidbit VW had a here's your manual four-speed transmission I've been in one of these before welded up the uh, welded up the uh, spider gear so it would be positive traction I had a buggy one time man that thing would cut a donut once you welded that up but they also had a automatic stick shift 
and you didn't have you had the uh let's see you had to have the clutch i think it was you started off with the clutch or did it and then you um it maybe it didn't have a clutch but you, anyway you still had to shift gears but you didn't have to you didn't have to like use the clutch i think that's what it was you didn't have to use the clutch we had one in a carmen Ghia, and uh it never never worked but so i never got to drive it but anyway it was a uh automatic stick shift yeah sorry to bore you but i think volkswagen stuff is so cool and i used to know them inside and out and here is the complete volkswagen tech trips carb shock brakes gauges valves ignitions man these are neat very neat so much um what what do they call it uh, reference stuff here that you could do look at this old drag one right here iguana that's cool that is very cool and this old style beach buggy california tags on it you know that thing was cool and there's something else oh that's why it costs so much to ship yes oh man look at this classic american automobiles that is a uh what is that thing called a cord i believe hold on is that a cord i don't know if that's a cord or not it says 1936 not sure not sure if that is or not it kind of resembled one but i don't know if it is or not maybe it's not wow this sucker's heavy tons of reference stuff in here tons and tons and tons man this is too cool what is this I'm not sure what kind of car that is man case is that the same car that's not the same car I didn't know case made a car or did they or maybe I'm not reading this right I mean they made pocket knives <laughs> Willie's Night Touring Sedan. I didn't know Willie's made an old car like that. I didn't know they, I know, you know, you, you have your Willie's drag cars and stuff people fixed up, but I didn't know that. I'll have to go through and look at this book. That is so cool. Love these books like this, especially when it's stuff that you've never seen before. And again, that's why I say, how am I an inspiration to anybody? I don't know anything about this stuff, but it's just fun to me. And I think that's all that's in this box. It is other than all the um newspapers you must have took a while to collect that many newspapers kurt all right let's get this back down here and look at this it's too cool got the books got the vw the vw uh, peterson's guide and then um i don't think this one yeah this one was peterson too both of them are peterson's Man, those are cool. Those are, those, these have to be, just by looking at her, how she's dressed, I mean, that looks like early 70s, maybe. There's got to be a date in this thing. Let's see if I can see a date here. No date? Oh, man. There's a Kubel wagon, I think is what they called that. It's kind of like a VW, early VW thing. Probably a 25 horsepower. Could be 36, but probably 25. Okay. Here is a, here's a date, but that's not the date of the book, but it says, at a small miracle might be in order if only warm the heart of 73 bug buyers. So this must be like around 73. Yeah, there's a Kubel wagon, World War II. That's what it says. Neat. Anyway, I'm not going to bore you anymore with the Volkswagen stuff. But, Kirk, thank you so much. Let me get this where you can see it all. Thank you for the 48s. Those are so cool. Thank you so much. I can't get enough of them. And the Courier minivan. I have to open that up and check it out very soon. That's neat. I wish I had some pictures of my granddad's old truck. I remember when I was, one of them was brown. Um, and one thing that I remember about the Courier, his pickups, is the, uh, the gauge clusters. Um, they, they had like a pointed 
the, the clear lens on the gauges, like your mile per hour, it was pointy. And I always wondered, why is it pointy? But then, like on the Honda Elements, I think they did the same thing on the newer Honda, or the Honda Elements from the 2000s. And, and it said it was, it was, you couldn't, it didn't get a glare. So that's why it was shaped like that, it didn't have a glare. So, yeah, very neat. Thank you so much, Kurt. Thanks to all my people, all my people. Thanks to all, everyone that supports me. Um, look guys, you don't have to send me anything. Um, I, I don't, I don't ever want anybody to think that you have to send me anything. Now, when you do, I, I greatly appreciate it. It is so awesome to get this kind of stuff. Um, very thoughtful. You guys like Kirk, he, he's, he's listened to how I like Volkswagens or love Volkswagens in the 40, 48. And I, I'm, I guess he may, maybe listened, uh, how I, I talked about the, the mini trucks recently on a video. I don't remember how many videos ago it was, but you guys, again, are, are just, uh, you amaze me. You inspire me. All of you inspire me. Um, and it's very easy to be inspired when you get things like this. But, yeah, it's it's such an inspiration for me to start out in this hobby with just a little small stash. Um, absolutely no knowledge of anything as far as, I knew, I have knowledge of vehicles, but when it was in the, you know, when I started off the modeling, I didn't know anything about this stuff. I'd build, a, you know, some as a kid, 15, 20 kits as a kid, but I have grown so much, and it's all because of you guys, um, pouring into me, and I can't say thank you enough um, for for all the, the love that you've shown me over these few years that I've had this YouTube channel. So thank you so much for all you do. Again, you don't have to send me anything. That's that's not needed for me to appreciate all of you guys because truly the ones of you who watch these videos are my greatest inspiration. Um, you uh, push me. You don't push me. Um, you, you just keep me motivated to keep to keep producing these videos and as low a quality as they are and most of the time this camera doesn't focus and all that stuff but you've stuck with me and i really appreciate it again thanks kirk for these kits man so thankful and grateful thanks for the books and again all you guys who watch this thing if you'll give me a thumbs up that that's like so wonderful for you guys to just um, support me in that way and don't forget as always go check out hobbynutmodels.com it's always linked in the description of my videos click on that link Go to Hobby Nut Models, check out what Mark's got over there for you, and uh, support a small business. Mark at Hobby Nut Models is a small business, and um, go over there and support him. I know it's easy to go on Amazon or, or other places, but sometimes uh, you you supporting the, the small guy keeps this hobby somewhat um, personal. Yeah, personal. I guess that would be a, a proper word for it. Keeps his hobby personal and uh, keeps the small guy in business. And um, yeah, helps me out too when you go over there. If you'll use that link in the description, it helps me out. If you'll go to Hobby Nut Models via that link. And if you do purchase something, I'll get some credit for it. And I appreciate that, guys. Check out the Facebook group, the Spring Store, and my Patreon members. Thank you guys so much. And uh, hey, guys, thank you all for sticking with me. And I appreciate you. And I can't say that enough and if i said it anymore it'd probably become annoying so uh guys you take care and see you on the next video can't wait to open this stuff up Space